Yo, what's up, Travis Corp? Back here again today is traveling season. We're going for some beaver this year. We got this big old pond right here behind us. Anyways, let's get to it. There's one safety on. Time for the next one. Safeties are on. Let's get this thing dangerous. up here make sure safety stay on safety still on on both squeeze it together right there back away from it done deal now we got to put it in the water end it so we got our corner bear in the water here all I'm gonna do is take a couple sticks we're gonna stick it right between the springs without making that trap completely flop over right down in there's one. So I find the second one. And two. And that's all it takes to do that. All we gotta do is tie it off now and make sure it don't go nowhere a beaver swims through. We got more beavers double, to what, catch. Hey, we got these small ones. Where's double stake? How about that? Okay, is this already recording? So. Here we go. Got some major beaver activity back in here. You didn't walk back through here and checked it out. Gotta get around this tree. And right here is what you call beaver sign. They got this old tour out. Stuff chewed up. We're gonna sit on this one and also go back up through here a little ways. We got muskrat right there. And then we got some more beaver sign. It just keeps on going back farther and farther. It's all muskrat there. We got plenty of sign back in here we need to set on. So let's get to it. We 
we're just gonna set the first trap right here. We got a fresh sign on it. That can clear everything out of the way. First safety zone. I get this untangled here and stay out. Okay. Got all this junk right in the way. Safety's are on. I just bought these traps yesterday. Brand new Duke 330s. Always use Duke, it's my preference. Now it's gotta get this thing set. Make sure all safety stay on, no matter what you're doing. Get all that crap out of it. Press it together. That flip on around. And set. Make sure safety stay on. You gotta slide them back. Do so. Just to make sure they stay right where they are. I'm gonna get this thing in the water. Where in the water? Make sure all safety stay on. Here comes the difficult part. Stag on trees, I'm tall, it don't work. Stick. I can't grab it. The other one. So as far as I can get it. You have the groundhog? It's back here. That's one sturdy trap right there. There's that. Here comes the dangerous part. Safety. Safety. Trap sturdy. That's all it takes. We have a few more sets to make. So we got our first trap set right there in this big old pathway they've been traveling real heavy bottom is rock solid that's we you know you got some good sign got beavers traveling it leads right back in this back way we have some slides right over in there so there's slides everywhere on this pond 
And I'm just going to re going to set on the uh, ones on this side. It's hard to get to the ones on the other side, so we're gonna keep this. Last cone bear set for the day. Get that put out. And we'll try again. <sighs> That's some work. My hand hurt pretty bad. These things are something else. For all you beginner trappers out there, these things will, in fact, break and kill any animal. Break your arm too, so you get your arm stuck in it. That's what the safeties are made for. Make sure springs and anything don't come up. Makes you feel a little bit better about when setting this trap. Only if I get it to stay put right now. So push down on it. Make sure I get my knee over here on it. I think it's being a struggle in this bank. <sighs> Any more leverage. I can't get to stay put there. Sheesh. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I gotta just push down with hands. So I ain't gonna work either. <clears throat> nope. Oh, I'll get this, set, this one set off camera. Okay, I got the string and the springs figured out after freaking forever. So, that's gonna open it up. Everything's still ready to go. So use it together. And it's set. Good to go. Set in the water. Right there. Needs to be a little more straightened up. The water is pretty cold though. That's about as straight as you're gonna get before it falls over. Okay. I guess stick. Shoot, that is <laughs> definitely a hard bottom. <sighs> Get the groundhog. Right there. Yeah, I got a little assistant out here with West Virginia Outdoors. Since he hasn't made a video in forever.
that trap ain't going nowhere. Now, he's making the stake to stick it down the ground with. Make sure the trap doesn't move. We're sitting here on a, this path where they cross from the creek back behind us. We got some fresh markings from Beaver. This is definitely a slide. Slide and a climb back on point. So they come sliding off. We're hoping to get them in the trap here. So we're gonna put us a dive stick on top and anchor it down. They got stick here. Wedge it in between. About like that. That actually works a little bit better. That works. Anyway, I'll let you do your anchoring job that you like to do. We got sets on this side of the, on that side of the creek. One on that swim where they got, and one right across by that tree. They had fresh chewings, fresh claw marks on the bank. Must crank over in that bushy area. A couple of dog proof traps set on over there. We have a total of six traps out. We'll be back to check them again tomorrow. And there's definitely some major beaver sign in here. We should have one tomorrow. Anyways, let's let you do your finishing job. Huh. Okay. Trying to find, looking for the, the uh, There you go. We're just using a plain old snare for this. Might have to beat it down the rocks here. Got it? Mm -hmm. here, co here comes the fun part. Safeties. Find the first one. If I get to come off, let you reach down there. Damn. There you go, she's hot. Leave that dive stick air. I'd say more or less over here. I think we're good to go. Up about the water here. Yep. Let's go. Today, day two, we're checking traps. The final set we set yesterday is still set. No problems. No issues. We got a few more yesterday. And the trap is not here. Figure out what we got on it. This water is going to be deep after the rain we had last night. I don't know if I can find it. The trap is somewhere in this area here. Oh, found something. There's something right here big, but it ain't floating. Oh my goodness. We caught a, a snapping turtle in a 3.30. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this guy up out of here very easily or not. And 
he is still alive. We just caught this in the 330. Well, I think he's still alive. Yep, he's still alive. What in the world? This is gonna be a pain. Cause he's still alive. I gotta get him out of this trap. That sucker is locked down. This trap is anchored down good. So I'm gonna pull that trap up out of the ground here. Without getting bit by this thing. All you trappers out there, have you ever caught a snapping turtle in a 3.30? I gotta get dispatch this guy somehow without falling on top of him. I was not expecting to have caught a big snapper in a 3.30 today. That was not the plan. Um, I'm going to remake this set. Rain came through last night. Got to remake another one. I'm going to get this guy dispatched. So, anyway, here we go. Oh, there it is. So, anyways... We got the beaver, not beaver, but anyways, we got the turtle taken care of. That's what I was at least expecting to catch today. So I went and updated how the trap was set. I put me a log right over top of it this time, more or less than just sticks and rubble. Put me a log for a diver. Hopefully, there's, hopefully some beaver come through here. We just found a good turtle travel way too. Turtles are using it. Beaver could also be using it. So we're gonna keep setting here. Get the wire the anchor too. Make sure we get solid down in the bank here. when I came here that turtle had not gone far at all with this anchor I got on here step down the rest of the way in the water so you can't feel it get back down in find your wire and give it a good pull beaver gets caught that held a turtle how it set yesterday we'll be good to go we got our dive log here Trap is not too far below it. Just right about the same amount it needs to be. Beaver comes swimming in. He'll go right underneath of it. We got I got one more trap set I need to fix. So I went over here to carry this one. There a little bit ago. Went over and looked, there wasn't nothing on it. Back to this one set.
It's set. Oh. We got fresh wood chippings. So he must have knew the set was here and missed it. When we left the set yesterday, it did not, it actually was not bowed over like it is today. This is definitely fresh wood chippings right here on this bank. As y'all can see, down yeah, this water, this was not here yesterday. He must have just chipped that off not too long ago. That is some fresh sign from Beaver. So I need to fix this set, see what I did wrong, and get a Beaver in this set. I'm gonna put another dive log or something over top of this for when he comes in, he gets in it. So, get down in here. A little muddy, don't want to fall away in. This trap is still alive. Something tells me something didn't go right with the sticks we have on it. So I'm going to put another stick right down. In the mud there and this they've been working on this one for sure that's one we just picked up a second ago that's fresh beaver sign they've been yep he chewed it off last night he came in and got around the trap there that's why the trap was knocked over so we, we missed the beaver last night he came back for more of this log So I'm gonna get some more sticks. I'm gonna make sure he goes through this trap set tonight and we don't miss it. So, if we got stuck in the mud, so we'll take one of the ones he used and shove it right down in there. Bring some of this over where he ain't gonna wanna go through any of this try to make it to where he is pretty much forced to go through this trap here so we missed missed one last night so we're gonna get this lined up that's for dang sure because these are fresh wood chippings that happened not too long ago because these were not here yesterday when we got here That's why my track trap was partially knocked over at the same time. Make sure I lean that back or it gets straighter. Hopefully when he comes back in we'll have him. Cause right here makes a good diver. That's sitting right here after that rain blew in. We can set that right over top of the trap, make it blend in. <laughs> make sure not to hit the firing part of it. <laughs> That'll make a good diver. So if he comes back in for this stick again like he did last night, we'll have us a beaver. Hopefully we'll catch him. He's gonna make it a little bit better. Now that stick right in the ground. Perfect. You're gonna get much better on sitting for a beaver. Cause it's crazy how many wood chippings he left. Cause these were not here yesterday. Definitely beaver. All right. Other sets right across the water there. Right on over. We got this beaver set made back up, made it look a little nicer. I was hoping for tomorrow because he came back in and did some chewing up last night. 
Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. We caught the snapping turtle in the land odor and wants to see snapping turtles out of here too, so that'll help with the problem. You know, it's not my target animal. Took care of that problem at least. Hopefully we catch a few more beavers, not turtles. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. So I hope y'all enjoyed this new video. We got more coming out soon. Plan on getting one out tomorrow. Hopefully we get a beaver in that set. We missed one on the day. Hopefully we, get, we don't get another turtle. That was quite a coincidence. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more.